Another shop update. You can see neither of our cars are in the shop. We left them on the trailers because we have about three weeks off from racing. So we're going to start tackling some of our neglected projects around here. Clean the parts area up. Organize all of our spares. And I'm going to jump back into my wiring harnesses. I've been thinking about how I was going to finish this particular harness off because it's currently a manual transmission with stock instrument cluster and BCM support. And I have a lot of guys that want harnesses. And based on that, I was thinking whether or not I was going to make a manual transmission harness or an automatic transmission harness or with or without stock cluster support because everyone wanted something different. And I think I'm just going to make the harnesses with everything. So I'll leave the automatic transmission plug hooked up. I will leave the BCM and instrument cluster connectors and probably just run wires out for all of your gauge outputs. Or I could sell it with gauges, I don't know. And I'm going to run the stock fuel pump wiring all the way to the back, so all you have to do is just plug it in at the trunk pan. I'll even put a relay in the harness, so I don't have to explain to people how to wire this stuff up. So it should be a pretty simple harness, universal to whatever car you want to run in. I think that's the way we're going to go with that. I'm about to tie up the one in this blue car. This has stock cluster support. I got that one all figured out. All I need to do is tidy up the design a bit, make myself a template to work from, and then I can start making them in bulk. And then we're gonna start gutting that car so that we can put that cage into it. And that's pretty much it. Oh, forgot to mention. We were checking our cars before racing this last Saturday and Alex bumped my radiator hose and we noticed coolant shot out of the front of the radiator and it turns out the mount broke off the top of the radiator and it was actually leaking coolant. Didn't hit anybody with the front end of the car. It was clay that came through my bumper and knocked it off. There was a big wad of clay right there. So that's a first for me. Sad to lose that radiator because it was a new one. What you get when you're racing dirt.